Oh, what's up? How you guys doing out there today? This is your boy Roto Beast, and I'm here to present you my NBA picks for Saturday, February 10th. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to click the subscribe button below. This way you can watch all of our NBA, NFL, and MLB videos. And if you want to play the actual lineups that we're playing every single day, visit our website at www.rotobeast.net. So, before we get started, I'm just going to say this. Screw you, Anthony Davis. Screw you, Drew Holiday. And screw you, Jamal Murray from um, the Denver Nuggets. Man, how do you guys all choose to have your worst uh, nights of the season on the same night? Absolutely crushed my lineups. My lineups were looking very good. I hit all my value plays, really went off. All my cleaving plays, you know, did work. All that was awesome. And then you got... The guys that I wasn't even worried about that I thought were for sure going to have great games absolutely stunk it up tonight. It killed us on FanDuel. Jack Kings is going very strong. We're going to cash in all of our entries, um, GPP and cash games. You know, the FanDuel side of it, ugh, it's super frustrating. The guys just absolutely crushed us. But, hey, it's all good. You know, to DFS, it happens. They're human, just like we're human. Um, all we can do is just kind of just... You know, suck it up and just move on. So, I, I did a little contest yesterday. All you had to do was click the like button below. Um, put your name in the comment section. And, and I picked a random person to uh, to get my lineups for today. Congratulations um, to Tommy who, who won it today. Um, so, I want to do it again tomorrow. One thing I am going to note, though, is I still gave out, you know, I picked somebody and still gave them out the past two days. Even though I didn't hit the 200 likes. But hey, it really, really, really helps me out if you guys click that like button for me. I mean, I'm getting, you know, 1,500 views. I mean, watch it. Click a like for me. You know, I really appreciate it. Throw your name down below. And I'm going to send you my actual lineups that I'm playing. This way, even if you don't want to play them, you can compare yours to mine and kind of see where you're at. So yeah, make sure to click that like button. Let's get those 200 likes. And then I'll pick somebody else randomly tomorrow um, to, to get my lineups for the day. FanDuel and DraftKings, both of them. So, hey, I appreciate it. Let's jump into the six-game slate. We got a lot of teams that are on back-to-backs, um, just like we kind of had last night. Um, you know, So we'll just jump into the um, teams real quick. First, we got Denver going into Phoenix and face the Suns. This game has a 218.5 implied total. Denver's favored by seven. Then you got San Antonio going, going into Golden State to face the Warriors. This game has a 217.5 implied total. Golden State's favored by 11. Then we got Washington going into Chicago to face the Bulls. This game has a 214 implied total. Washington favored by 5. Then we got Milwaukee going into Orlando to face the Magics. This game has a 207 implied total. Milwaukee's favored by 5. And the two games that we're waiting on, um, the lines, we don't have them out yet. You got the Clippers going into Philadelphia to face the 76ers. And the Lakers going into Dallas to face the Mavericks. So, yeah, let's just jump into our picks. Let's kind of see where we're at, see what we can dig up. Um, we'll start at point guard. Um, you got to like Steph Curry. I mean, he's he's obviously the best point guard on the slate, but it's not the best matchup. Even though the Spurs are not the same Spurs that they used to be defensive-wise, they are still solid. Um, I definitely think Curry can have a solid game. At 9.6 price tag, for him to hit value, we need about 47, 48. Um, I mean, he's, he's having four straight games of 36. 37, 38, 38, 20. He hasn't had a good game in a while. And I know it's going against the Spurs, but it's coming. He's going to have a massive game. The price tag is fair. Um, I definitely like Curry in this spot. Um, but cash-wise, I think I would probably look a little bit more towards Eric Bledsoe. You need 40 for him to hit value. Uh, very fair price tag. Um, you know, he's going against Orlando, a very, very up-tempo game. He's got to cheer at least 41 in three straight games. So I think he's a solid cash game play. You got Jamal Murray. I played him tonight. And, yes, let me just show you this real quick. I played his ass. He got me 7.2. Look at this. This dude, he's consistent. I mean, 47, 52, 27, 23. I mean, he's very consistent. And then he gets me the worst game of the season, 7.2. Come on, bro. But you know what? It's DFS. You go right back to the well. He has a really good matchup against Phoenix tomorrow. Very up-tempo game. I mean, something you can definitely look at in GPP. 
You got Dennis Smith going against the Lakers at exact same price. Me personally, I'm probably going to go with Dennis Smith in my cash games. I think he's a really, really good play. Um, Isaiah Thomas is probably going to start tomorrow. We know Isaiah Thomas isn't good at defense. So I'm going to go ahead and push him in my core at point guard. Um, next, we'll move down to uh, Jerry Grant. I mean, the guy, he's been playing very well, playing consistent. I didn't think he was going to be as chalky as he was today. Unfortunately, today, he ended up being 50% owned and he's going off. Automatically push me out of cash games. Um, you know, it's still midway through the um, fourth quarter. Close game. And he already has 35 fantasy points. He's playing very well. Playing massive minutes. I definitely think you could go back to the well. And then another guy I'm really liking on cheap end. So you got Mur uh, Murray's out. You got Tony Parker's out. Somebody's going to have to play point guard. You can look at Patty Mills. Up-tempo game against the Warriors. I think he's going to have to play close to 30 minutes in this game. We know Patty Mills can get hot and he can have upside. Um, on the cheaper end, I think he's a solid value play. Next, we got shooting guard. We'll start off with Bradley Bill going to Chicago. They're going to be on a back-to-back. -back. Um, the guy's just put, been playing w very well. He's got you at least 43 pe uh, fantasy points in five of the past six games. Um, I mean, he, he, I think he's a solid cash game play, somebody you could definitely lock in. Then we're going to go down to Lou Williams. He had a really, really good game today going against Detroit. 42 fantasy points. The price is just too low if he's going to stick around that uh, you know, 30-minute mark. Um, I definitely like him in this spot. Going against the 76ers, up-tempo game. I will know both of these teams are on a back-to-back, -back and somebody's going to have to score. You know, so I definitely like Lou Williams. Gary Harris in a great spot going against Phoenix. Like I said, pretty much every Denver Nugget um, had a bad night tonight. I mean, it is what it is. got to chalk it up as a loss and move on. But for the most part, he's been playing high 30 minutes. He's giving you a solid, solid floor. He's averaging 30 fantasy points on the season. For him to hit value, we need 33. Going against the Suns, who don't play any defense, you got to really like Gary Harris. Then we got Clay. Lowest price tag of the season, I think, if not very close to it. I mean, for him to hit value, we need about 32. He's averaging 31 on the season. Um, you know, and you know, he's just consistent. He's gonna do a little bit of everything. He plays good defense. Um, he's gonna play his 33 to 35 minutes a game. You gotta take advantage of the uh, lowered price tag. Lastly, we'll talk about Danny Green going against the Warriors on the opposite side. Um, you know. He's, he's kind of up and down minute-wise, but, you know, without both point guards, I think that he's going to have to pick up a little bit, a couple more guard minutes. Um, you know, he's been very consistent for the most part. He's got you 24, 45, uh, 25, uh, 21. At this price tag, we need about 23. He's averaging 21 on the season, um, so I definitely like him on the lower end. Then we got small forward. I mean, I like Antecupo. Up-tempo game against Orlando. He is going to be on a back-to-back. -back, but, uh, I mean, he's back to playing well for the most part. I mean, I think that he, he is a little bit overpriced. For him to hit value, you need about 58. He's averaging 53 on the season. I mean, he's got you 58 in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Two of the past six games, he's got you close a couple times. Uh, but, you know, up-tempo game, very up-tempo game against Orlando. So, you really got to like him. Durant going against the Spurs. For him to hit value, we need 55. Um, I mean, he hasn't got you 55 in, in a while, to be honest with you. But he's, he gets, you know, he gets close. He usually gets you about high 40s. Um, that's kind of his floor is, is low 40s. Um, he's a solid play on a slate where, I mean, this is a six-game slate, but there's not too, too, too many good options, to be honest with you. So you definitely got to look at Durant. Otto Porter, very, very good play. He's been playing very well um, since uh, John Wall has been out. I mean, he's got you at least 33 fantasy points in five of the past six. For him to hit value, you need about 37. He's averaging 33 on the, I'm sorry, 30 on the season. Um, Otto Porter, he looks really good tomorrow. Then you can look at, I'm just going to combine these guys. TJ Warren and Josh Jackson, it's a $700 difference. Warren's obviously, I think, a little bit better of a player. It gives you a little bit higher floor and higher ceiling because he's going to get his minutes for sure. But Josh Jackson has been, been playing very well as well. If he continues starting um, at shooting guard, then you really got to like him. Um, one thing I will note about the Phoenix Suns, though, is they did just trade for Bledsoe. So I don't know how that's really going to affect their rotation. Um, so, I mean, it, it could be kind of a wait-and-see approach. Uh, but either way, I don't think that's really going to affect Josh Jackson and TJ Warren in this matchup. Then you got Harrison Barnes going against the Lakers. 
Um, I mean, he's, he was out the past two games, but he's supposed to come back tomorrow. He's probable. He's a guy we know is going to play 33 to 35 minutes. He's going to get you 25 to 30 fantasy points with 40-point upside. At a 6.8 price tag, we need about 33 for him to hit value. Um, I like uh, Harrison Barnes. I think you could definitely, if he's going to play his regular allotment of minutes, you could actually even consider him in cash games. Um, last guy I'll bring up on the cheaper end. Um, I mean, he's just minimum price. Chandler. Very up tempo game against Phoenix Suns. All you need is 17 for him to hit value. Today he only played 23 minutes against Houston. He got you 21 fantasy points. He's a guy that if he gets the minutes, he can crush this price tag. Um, it's all about the minutes for him. It's a great matchup. Um, I'm really digging Chandler. Then we'll go to power forward. Aldridge. They're going to need scoring against the, the Warriors. He's a guy that definitely is their leading scorer. He could definitely put up massive points. I don't know. They're probably going to put Draymond on him. Draymond, he could get is a tough matchup for him, but Aldridge is real tall. He could definitely shoot over him. 8.8 um, .8 price tag for him to hit value. We need about 44. He's averaging 39 on the season. I'm um, definitely taking a look at Aldridge. You can look at Ben Simmons against the Clippers. Um, I like him. I just don't like the price tag for him to hit value. He needs about 40. 43, 44, um, and I mean, he's been getting close, but I mean, he's he's not quite always getting you there, uh, but he actually has been playing um, a lot better lately, so I definitely think that I, I would consider him more um, now than I would probably about a month ago, um, so yeah, Ben Simmons, he is a really good uh, play, then you got Draymond, 8.4, going against San Antonio, um, you know, he's he could get a triple-double any single night. Um, I mean, he's been kind of, I mean, and it's crazy because it's not just him. It's all the Warriors are down right now. They all haven't been, they've been underperforming. But we know every single one of these guys have massive upside. For him to hit value on this price tag, we need about 42, 43. He's averaging 37 on the season. So I'm really liking Draymond. I'm going to combine these guys. I mean, both of them are on back-to-backs. Both of them have solid, solid games. Um, you know, Tobias Harris, they're actually going against each other. Um, he's been playing, you know, he's going to play about 33 minutes, you know, um, for the Clippers. Doc Rivers kind of has him there. And he's got you at 28, 36, 34. If, at this price tag, we need about 35. He's averaging 29 on the season. Um, I do like Harris. You got Sark on the other side of the ball. You need 35 for him to hit value. Um, he actually got 35 tonight. You know, he's been very consistent for the most part. He's getting his minutes. Um, you know, he's averaging 28 on the season. Um, Sark is a really good play. Then if we go down a little bit, you got Powell going against the Lakers. Lakers are my team, but they're very up tempo and they have been playing well. But they're still, you know, super up tempo, fast pace, so they do give up tons of fantasy points. Powell's a guy who the past four games he's got you at least twenty seven minutes. The problem with him is always been if he if he gets his minutes he's gonna do well. Um, I'm really more looking at the past three. Um, I mean he's been playing very well. 31-29. 31. He's got you 31 fantasy points, 27 to 34. If he's going to play 30 minutes against the Lakers, I'm really going to like this guy. The 6,000 price tag, you need 30 for value. Um, a couple guys on the cheaper end, I'll just quickly mention Chris. Going against Denver up tempo game, you need 25 for him to have value. He's averaging 20 on the season. I think he's more of a GPP play, but he definitely has upside. He's somebody that you could definitely you know throw in. He's probably going to be very low owned, and uh, you know he has the upside. It's like I said, I'm not going to say he's going to have a massive game, but but he does have upside. We've seen it in the past. And then lastly, um, so I will note you got Marquise Morris. He he didn't go. Yeah, he didn't practice. On Friday, due to a swollen hand, um, they don't know if he's gonna play tomorrow. He's considered questionable. If he is out tomorrow, though, one guy I'm really gonna be looking at is gonna be. Where is he at? Where is he at? Sorry. 
Oh, Mike Scott. He was the very last person. Sorry. But this guy, whenever he gets the opportunity, he gets the minutes. I mean, he does work. He's a really solid player. He's a very active player. Um, I mean, minimum price. If Marquise Morris was out and he was going to get a start, he's somebody that I would definitely lock into my cash games. Um, all you need is 17 for him to hit value. So I would definitely keep an eye on that news. I know the past couple of days I've been talking about keep an eye on news, watch out for this. Why? But that's what's going on right now. Everybody's tired. Everybody's hurt. The, every Everybody's ready to kind of just get their break with the All Star uh, All Star Weekend coming up, um, you know. So this is going to continue happening, you know, every single day until the All Star break, pretty much. We we'll move on to center. You got Jokic going against Phoenix. He was one of the the, the Nuggets that I mean uh, that was actually doing very well today. Um, against the, the Houston Rockets, but he only played 21 minutes. Um, he got 38 fantasy points, so he was doing solid. His team just wasn't coming through for him. Going against the Suns in an up-tempo game, I mean, he needs 10, uh, 50 to hit value. He's averaging 40 on the season, but I definitely think that this is a spot where he could crush it. Um, he did uh, play against the Suns not that long ago, about eight games, nine games ago, and, I mean, he, w he went with, for 14, 17, and 5, for only 36 fantasy points, he had uh, six turnovers, but he still had a solid game. You know, and I definitely think he has massive upside in this spot. DeAndre Jordan going against Philadelphia. I think Embiid's actually going to probably be out tomorrow. It's going to be even better for Jordan. For him to hit value, you need 36. He's averaging 34 on the season. We know he's going to play, you know, 32 to 34 minutes a game. Um, so I think he's in a solid position. You got Randall with no... Um, no Larry Nance now. It's pretty much just Randall Kuzma. Um, it you know that's pretty much gonna play power forward, and then you know Randall will even play a little bit of center when Brooke Lopez goes out. Um, Randall, we know it's all about minutes with him, and as long as he gets his minutes, he's gonna fill up the stat sheet. He's a very active player. For him to hit value, he needs thirty two. He's averaging twenty seven on the season, but he's been playing very, very, very well lately. And if we hear anything about you know, or even we could do a little digging to find out if he's gonna play, you know. 32 to 34 minutes. He'll be a great, great play on this slate. I like Paul Gasol going against the Warriors. Um, up tempo game. They're gonna need scoring. He's a guy that we know could score. I mean, he's only scored five, eight, and six the past three. But I mean, he has you know 20 point upside where he you know he he's a solid player. He fills up the stat sheet, does a little bit of everything. For him to hit value, we need about 28. He's averaging 28 on the season. So I think Gasol is a solid play. Then lastly, I'll go down to the two guys. They're going to be going against each other. You got Gortat. He's actually been picking it up a little bit. Um, the minutes are up and down. But, I mean, for him to hit value, we're going to need about 23. He's averaging 24 on the season. And like I said, I mean, he is up and down. But, I mean, for the most part, he's going to get you at least 18 to 20. Then you got Lopez on the other side. Um, you know, he got ejected this past game. Um, you know, so I'm not really going to take that. You know anything, but before that, I mean, his minutes were up a little bit. Um, he was having a solid game last time I looked, um, going against Minnesota tonight. Um, fair price tag, you need 20 for him to hit value. He's averaging 23 on the season. He definitely, I think that you could look at Lopez on the cheaper end. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with these picks. And you know, hey, if you want to play my lineups, like I said, that, that I'm actually playing tomorrow, you know, make sure and click that like button, make sure and click that subscribe button. Um, comment your name below, and I'm going to pick one lucky winner. I'm going to send them my FanDuel and DraftKings lineup for the day. So don't forget to do that. And if, uh, yeah, let me just go through this real quick, kind of get you my picks, and we can get out of here, okay? So um, point guard, I like Dennis Smith. I already put that in. They're going against the Lakers. You know, I really love targeting my Lakers fantasy-wise. Um, I think that they're, you know, solid team target. Um, at Sure guard, I'm going to go with Lou Williams. I think his price is down. It's a very fair price. Um, I got to like him a lot. Then I'm going to go with Otto Porter at small forward. He's been playing very well since John Wall's out. Um, and then at power forward, I'm going to go with I like Powell going against my Lakers. I think he's in a solid spot. And then at center, see, center is a tough position, to be honest with you. Center is a tough position. Um, I'm going to have to go. I like Randall. Randall's somebody that I'm really liking. Um, so one thing I'm going to I mean, I like Powell. 
I mean, this this is a solid core, and you have 6,400. And I'm not saying these guys are locks, but these guys are all in very good spots. They're very fair prices. So, yeah, this is kind of where I'm at. If you want to talk about some other people that I didn't mention or you want me to go a little bit more in-depth, you know, make sure and follow me. I got Twitter. I got Facebook. I got Instagram, at RotoBeast. Hit me up with a, a DM. Um, let me know what's up, you know, and, hey, let's get this money. I'll talk to you later.